Matt and Kate, a young couple, moved to Westminster, Maryland having purchased a secluded manor. While renovating, they discover a large steel door that leads to an empty room. After experiencing frequent electrical shortages, the couple calls an electrician to learn that the wiring in the home is a tangled mass that runs along the walls and floorboards of the property. As the electrician drives off, he exclaims his surprise that the property finally sold considering the previous owners were murdered on site. That evening, Matt finds himself unable to sleep and ends up drinking while researching the murder. He learns that the killer is a John Doe, that is his identity is not known, and that he is still alive, in a psychiatric hospital. He stumbles into the room and drunkenly wishes for another bottle of alcohol, which the room promptly grants him. The next morning, Kate finds Matt in the room surrounded by many expensive paintings. He encourages her to wish for money and she does, wishing for millions. Over the next several days, the couple quit their jobs and party in the room, which continuously grants their wishes and desires. Kate begins to fall into depression when she realizes that nothing they wish for has any real value, stating that she can just get another, and another, and another. To cheer her up, Matt tells her he wants to try for a child, but she becomes angry, reminding him of her two previous miscarriages. She exclaims that she can't put herself through that pain again and storms out of the room. Matt walks past the bedroom moments later to discover that in her sadness, Kate used the room to wish for a son. Panicked, he tells her that what she has done is wrong and that she needs to force the room to take it back. When the couple is unable to bring themselves to wish away the child, Matt leaves the home in search of John Doe. At the hospital, Matt speaks with the John Doe and doesn't learn much, but is warned that he and his wife should leave the house and forget about the room. Matt drives away only to find that the money he placed in his pocket has turned to ash. He tests his theory at home by placing his Van Gogh painting partially over the threshold. As he suspected, anything that leaves the home experiences rapid aging and decay. Just as he comes to this realization, Kate tells Matt she is taking the baby out for some fresh air. He warns her not to do so but she ignores him, only to panic when the baby quickly ages into a young child. The couple's marriage deteriorates as Kate attempts to parent the child, Shun, while Matt chooses to ignore the child entirely. Kate experiences frustration being inexperienced and unable to properly discipline the child. Shun grows impatient with her as she refuses to let him outside, citing germs and bacteria. Days later, Matt finds that Shun has discovered the powers of the room, prompting a tense fight between the couple. They are interrupted by a call from the John Doe, who reveals to Matt that he was a child wish granted by the room, and in order for Shannon to live, Kate must die. Kate overhears the conversation and flees the home in an attempt to crash her car but cannot bring herself to do so. When she returns, the couple reunites tearfully and have sex in the kitchen, unknowingly being watched by Shun. The next morning, they are awoken by the slamming of the front door and discover that Shun went outside and aged himself into a man, though he still has the mind of a child. He exclaims that Kate lied to him about everything. He threatens the couple with Matt's gun but is distracted by Kate telling him she promised they could be together forever. Matt knocks him to the floor, pushing his wife into the piano during the scuffle. When she awakens, Matt tells her he killed Shin while they fought for the gun. Though she is heartbroken by the news, she accepts the outcome. Later Kate realizes that Matt is Shin in disguise. She pushes him away, but Shin overpowers and rapes her. The real Matt comes to and realizes what happened. Matt tunnels through the walls next to the room and manages to break into the alternate outside that Shun created. He locates their replicated property and breaks into the home just as Shun is assaulting Kate. The two Matts come face to face with one another and try to sway Kate to their side. After pushing the fake Matt down the stairs, the couple flees the house makes their way back to the room. They manage to trick Shun into going outside into the real world. Locking the door behind him, Kate watches as Shun ages rapidly and crumbles into ash. Later, the couple abandoned the home and Kate stares in horror at a positive pregnancy test, unsure if the child belongs to Matt or Shun.